Here's the time for meals to be cozy, easy, and delicious and hearty. So today I'm sharing with you five different meal ideas that are, many of them, great for the slow cooker and hearty and delicious homemade and from scratch meals. So Monday through Friday, I love just being in the kitchen and making some delicious food for my family. So the first meal I have made is a slow cooker cheesy chicken chowder. So if any recipes are linked um, from someone else, I'll put them in the description box for you. So this was originally a cheesy ham chowder, but of course, you know, you can adjust to what you have. So I had some chicken thighs that I wanted to use because I prepared ahead of time and bought chicken thighs for a meal later on in the week. And you'll see that with a roast I make that I use that later on for a stew as well. So first off with a slow cooker cheesy um, chicken chowder, I of course had to saute my veggies and that includes like celery and potatoes, garlic, just the works because it is delicious to have that extra vegetable flavor. And also I cooked up the chicken since it was a bone in chicken thigh just in my Instant Pot, which I use quite often. So then, since I actually cooked up the chicken first, I was able to cook that up, get it off the bone, and then I was able to saute my vegetables in the slow cooker. And so I used my Instant Pot as a slow cooker and just made it work with the broth. I cooked it for the time allotted, I think it was like eight hours on low. And then when that part's all done, all your potatoes are very tender and soft, by time, by half hour or so before it, it's time to eat the meal. You add some sour cream. I love this Nancy's probiotic sour cream. I get it from Azure. It's really nice, thick and creamy. Or Greek yogurt would work well, sour cream too. You can also add some heavy cream then, just make it creamy soup. So, and it just was a hit with my family. I'd say actually all five of these meals were hits with my husband and my three and a half year old and my one and a half year old. So they are great for families as well. And I served it up with some homemade sourdough bread and cheese and crackers if you want. And it was a delicious hearty soup. Day two, I had some leftover pork from some slow cooker pork I had made. And so I've done this recipe for you before. I just cook like a pork loin or a pork butt in my slow cooker for 10 hours or so and then it's great for leftovers. So that is what I use this for to make pork tostadas. And I crisped up my corn tortilla shells. I shredded the pork and added some seasonings in there and then just made that up. And it was so easy to serve. Like this meal is like a 15 minute or less meal if you are short on time. Added all the toppings of, you know, tomatoes, cheese, lettuce, olives. We like cucumbers on ours. Um, avocado, if I didn't say that, salsa, make some queso if you wanted, and it was just a delicious, simple meal to have and done in like 15 minutes. Day three it was a slow cooker deer roast. So my husband recently shot a deer. We um, are hunters in our family. I don't hunt, my husband does hunt, and so we processed some of the deer ourselves and we had a deer roast. So I cooked that up and added some like mustard in there to make it more seasoned. With, with game, you have to just understand it tastes a little more gamey, of course. I love about deer though, is that it is more lean. So you don't have to cut all that extra fat off. It's just nice and lean. And it was really tender because I cooked it for about eight to 10 hours and just made sure to have some juices in there. I added some of my homegrown carrots and potatoes and onions and then some sweet potatoes I had left as well. And it was a pretty big hit with my family. Of course, we use some sauces with it as well, like some ketchup or barbecue sauce. You could make up a sauce to go over it or a gravy. You could do mashed potatoes with it as well, but I put everything in the crock pot and served that up when it was done and then just had a nice little fruit salad on the side. So again, that meal only took 15, 20 minutes to prep and then it was cooked and ready for supper. All right, on day four, this was probably my husband's favorite because we do like Indian food. I made a butter chicken with a Indian creamed spinach using coconut milk and some store-bought naan bread. I didn't make the naan bread from scratch, but this was so good using those chicken thighs. I had 
from earlier in the week, I cooked the rest of them up as we had bought a large family pack and I used those and it just was a really delicious, creamy chicken with those warm Indian spices. One thing that I wish I had purchased was tikka masala that just adds the warmth to the Indian flavor. I just added extra turmeric, but if you really want that true Indian flavor, I recommend getting tikka masala because it also was called for in my creamed spinach where I used canned coconut milk, about six to eight ounces of a bag of spinach, and then you add like the same spices that I added in with my butter chicken. And the butter chicken was slow cooked again, so that was so nice just to toss it in in the morning and have it ready by afternoon. I made up some basmati rice. You could do white rice, you could do sticky rice, you could do brown rice, you could forgo the rice if you wanted, but it's just nice to have that um, for putting the dish over and making that creamy over it. And then just dipping the naan bread and all of that. Mm, I definitely recommend making this dish and those two I will link in the description box for you. And finally, a braised beef stew. So this again was from the deer roast. I used that beef or the deer and cubed up what we had left into small pieces so my little girls could eat it. And I cooked this in our Dutch oven because it does go in the oven, which I love. I'm sure you could do it slow cooked if you wanted to. And then I made some mashed potatoes with the last of my garden potatoes, served it on that. There's mushrooms in the braised beef and a lot of onion. I used some red onion, garlic, just all those delicious aromatic vegetables that go well with a hearty food. And you could serve that with some sourdough bread on the side or a homemade bread with another vegetable if you wanted. Some garden green beans would be great that I had canned up. I could have done that too. Um, or you could do a mixed vegetable that you use from frozen, which that's actually what we did. And it was just so good um, and very creamy. It's just a nice hearty sauce and it didn't even have milk in it. It's just creamy from the thickening of the flour and the flavor was delicious. I didn't even have all of the I didn't have the wine for the sauce or the beef broth, but it still was really delicious as long as you add enough of those spices and seasonings to it. And use plenty of salt if you are cooking from scratch because I have learned over the years, salt is key to a really delicious meat or meal. If you forgo the salt or lack in the salt, it definitely does not taste as good. And I'm a fan of Redmond's sea salt. But those are my five meals for the week. Like I said, winter is a time to be cozy and have hearty meals with bread, mashed potatoes, just the slow cooker soups and things like that. And so hopefully you can try some of these recipes out for you and your family. And let me know in the comments if you like these meal videos. It has been a long time since I've done one, I think since spring. So about eight months ago already that I've made a meal video for you. But I hope you can try these and let me know in the comments if you do and which one is your favorite. Well, I will talk with you all in my next video.